water they say is life. My name is Jijo Klake. On social media, you can find me as Adventures of a Ghanaian Girl. Today, I'm in a town called Chito. And for the past week, I have been here. The tap has not been flowing. In fact, we've ex we have essentially exhausted our stored water. All our containers and, and barrels at home are empty. And so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you how we fetch water in some villages in Ghana. Typically, most individuals walk to the borehole very early in the morning. And I should po point out that this borehole is mechanized. Growing up, the boreholes that we had required you to put a bucket on a piece of rope and then dunk it into the water and then pull it up to get your water. Some have been mechanized as you see here and some have actually been so modernized that you just have to open a pipe and then the water flows through the pipe. And Typically, most individuals walk to the borehole very early in the morning or in the evening. Ghana can be very hot and so nobody is really interested in walking to the borehole in the afternoon. It makes more sense to walk there in the morning or in the evening. And the journey to the borehole is pretty long. We woke up at 6.15 in the morning and we made our way to the borehole. Luckily for me, there was nobody around so I could document this properly. I should also point out that um, there are quite a few boreholes in Chito. That is probably why there aren't many people here. It is quite a walk to get to the borehole, which makes carrying the water that much more strenuous. It is also a bit of a workout. Oftentimes when you have to dispense the water into the container, you clean it. So what you see me doing is that I dispense some of the water into the container, the black container that I have, and then I wash it out. And then I dispense some more and then I wash it out again and then before I start dispensing the water this is just to ensure that the container is clean or free of any particles I should also point out that pulling the liver up and down is very strenuous it's quite a workout and you have to do this until the container is full or to the level that you deem fit or to the level that you feel you can carry now once the container is full you you need to roll a piece of fabric and put it on your head you can fold it you can roll it up I prefer to roll it up because that's what I'm used to from my childhood some people just fold it and then you can ask whoever is around to assist you carry the water and place it on your head it is very important to place the fabric on your head because it steadies or stabilizes the water on your head so that there isn't much movement and also it minimizes any pain that you might feel as a result of the container making direct contact with your scalp. If I'm being honest, I haven't done this in a very long while, but I just thought this was worth um, you know, showing you guys what it's like getting some water, water in some parts of the world and in this case Ghana. I don't think there's anything else I'd like to say about this video. Um, like I said, the walk is pretty long and so I'm not going to bore you too much, but I just want to give you an idea of how long it takes. And I didn't show you the whole thing, so it's it's a journey walking from the house to the borehole and then carrying the water back to the borehole. But like I said, this is not an everyday occurrence for me, So, but it is an everyday occurrence for some people in this part of the world. And even in this town so it's pretty interesting to see this happening every day day in and day out and I'm quite surprised that I didn't have access to water like I thought I would because Chito is um, known to have water the water is um, a bit saline but they do have water and so they are not connected to the Ghana water company limited they have their own source of water so I'm not too sure why it's been a week since we had access to water maybe they have a problem but that's what we're experiencing now so that is why I find myself at this borehole this morning and it's it's been pretty neat I think I haven't done this in a long time to say the least I remember doing this as a child I haven't done it in my entire adult life so probably in the past 20 years I haven't done this growing up I remember my mom would always insist that I go with somebody because those days it wasn't mechanized so it was a big hole and she was always afraid I might fall in 
so she wouldn't let me go on my own i would oftentimes have to go with her or with a cousin or someone who older than me but that was my experience growing up and you needed a bucket a bucket attached to a string to fetch the water so i hope you enjoyed this video this town. so i hope you enjoyed this if you like it please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching have a good day